Yeah, so we've gone on day two of the Wheat Quality Council tour that's traveling throughout the state of Kansas. Really seen two different stories from uh, where the wheat crop looks in the central part of the state. But the real headline is how uh, devastated some of the fields are out in the western part of the state where there was a winter storm with had over 20 inches of snow through about 16 different counties uh, that really laid wheat over. Uh, and it's a lot of unknowns with how that crop's going to respond. Uh, crop scouts have been out evaluating that, but it's really been too early to tell. Uh, it's going to take a lot of patience to see uh, whether or not those crop, that crop's going to actually be able to uh, end up standing back up and making, making a crop. As the crops tours then move from the west back to the eastern part of the state, we've been able to see some disease pressure, uh, some frost damage that's going to impact it, but above all, uh, probably above average yield potential. So it's going to be real important for farmers to be out evaluating their crop, making decisions about fungicides uh, if it's not too late. Uh, to make, uh, make those decisions for their crop and, and hopefully uh, uh, can have a good crop the, in production this year.